Hey guys, so one of the things that can help you if you feel like you're stuck in a bit of a rut and you're not really you're not really feeling yourself is to diligently decide on something that you will do every morning and do that thing without fail. I promise you you'll begin to feel better about yourself. So bring a little bit of order into your life by sticking to something every morning. Now, something that I've stuck to the past four mornings is getting up and going out for a walk. Even if it's just 20 minutes walk, and I've done that every morning for the past four days, this is the fourth day now, starting to feel good again so sometimes life is quite simple we don't need to go through in my opinion years of psychotherapy let go let go of the things that you know don't serve you the addictions it's easier said than done if you're addicted to heroin you're not just going to watch my video and think, oh, yes, Mike, I'll stop my heroin. But, you know, things like nicotine and alcohol, get the help you feel that you need and always be working on chipping away at that thing. If you're not ready to give up that thing, then what you can do is you can incorporate things that you know are going to serve you, take action on the things that you know resonate with you and when you take action on those things you incorporate those good habits you'll get a boost in self-esteem and it might just give you that little bit of confidence that you feel that you need to take on that addiction and let go of it once and for all and actually start loving yourself in that way so the thing with addictions is we reach for the chemical hit because we're afraid of what we'll discover about ourselves if we go without it. So these chemical addictions are a way to numb ourselves because we're afraid of who we are. We're afraid of what we'll find out. But on my journey, the most exciting thing about life is to go into war with that. Sounds a little dramatic to go to war with yourself, but that's what it felt like at the time. And <laughs> the world opens up, you open up unto yourself, you start to find out about yourself. And what I did during that time was I just sat in silence. No TV, no lights, just sat in silence. I was listening to Eckhart Tolle the author of The Power of Now and I just sat there like a scientist observing the ego chatter in the mind and you know ego isn't a bad thing I still have an ego we all need one I don't believe in killing the ego but it does begin to feel like it's running the show and stilling the mind is of paramount importance, I believe. So, the exciting thing about life for me is going through a process of transformation. Going through a process of change, applying a certain course of action and experiencing the process of going through that that change like this for example getting up in the morning going for a walk and my energy is higher my mental clarity is different it's all about perspective this universe is so vast take any perspective you like light or dark or any mixture in between any shade of gray you want there's infinite amount of ways of looking at the world and if you're feeling crap 
and you're stuffing your body with chemicals, chances are you're not going to have such a bright perspective of the universe, of life. So my perspective that works for me on this journey is I chose to incarnate here at this time because I knew it would be a great experience to experience the dance between light and dark. It's a great time right now, a great time to be alive. Information at your fingertips. Apply it, make use of it. What's the point of being born in this time when we have information at our fingertips like never before if we're not going to use it, if we're not going to apply it? So that's what keeps life exciting applying what we know to be true for ourselves and yeah so I hope you got something from that yeah I missed the video on Sunday well, there was a lot going on in my head and that's how it goes sometimes for us um, a nice quote I heard yesterday was that because I mentioned the word God in one of my other videos and I know that touches a nerve with some of you and when I say God I don't mean a guy sat on a mountain with a big beard who's looking down on us going ha 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 look at them everything to me is God everything me, you, the tree the atoms, the whole universe it's all the all that is so take whatever label you like, the divine, the source, the all that is, it's all the same to me. But, now I have nothing against atheist, my dad's an atheist, I love him, he's my dad, we have these uh, conversations about the universe and stuff, but some I heard that if atheists believe all there is is matter, and this is just a, a rock that we're on, and when we die we cease to exist, there's nothing really to it it's just matter then that's like saying a book is just ink and paper well yeah it's just ink and paper but if you know how to read if you know how to decipher the words you can find meaning in it and you can take that meaning and create something and have an experience. Hope you got something from that. Catch you later guys. Peace.